Hi everyone, so I was telling you about this website that I use for videos and I'm really excited today to be um, doing uh, a video in a little different way. So today we're going to be talking about real numbers and just so you know I'm here, I'll give you a little hint that I'm here. Um, today we're going to be talking about the real number system and, and um, about numbers that you do know a little bit about. So let's talk first about natural numbers. Natural numbers are the numbers that you, you learn first. The first number you probably learned is a number, it was the number one. You were probably hitting your first birthday and your mom wanted to learn you to, to know how to say you're one years old. So natural numbers are what I say start naturally. You learned naturally. So starting at one, going to two, three, four, and if I put a dot, dot, dot at the end, that means it goes on forever in that direction. All right, well then what happened is we had to introduce something that meant nothing. And the number that means nothing is zero. Okay, zero, one, two, three, and so on. Okay, all right. But more recently, and what we're going to be talking about a lot this year are integers. Integers are positive, and I'm sorry about the handwriting, I'm trying, positive and negative whole numbers. And I'm going to use that symbol to mean. And use that symbol to mean whole numbers. Okay, now then we've got rational numbers, and I know um, some of you know what rational numbers are, but rational numbers are any number, any number that can be expressed as a fraction. Any number that can be expressed as a fraction. Again, I apologize for the neatness. I'm get, I'll get better as we move on, okay? So one. One's a rational number because it can be written as one over one. Um, we've got two-thirds. That's a fraction. It can be written, anything that can be expressed as a fraction. Uh, negative uh, five. I can write it as negative five over one. So any number that can be expressed as a fraction. 1.3 repeating. 1.3 repeating is one and one-third can be expressed as a fraction. So I like to think of it as any number that can be expressed as a fraction. Irrational numbers, what we're, we're going to talk about them more later this year, are non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. And we will talk more about those this year. Um, but for now, I just want you to understand the definition. OK, so now we're going to talk about the number line. What we already know about the number line is that it looks like this, and it has a 0 in the middle. What I want to make sure you understand is that positive numbers are to the right. So if I'm moving in the right from zero, or actually anywhere, if I'm moving from a number from, the, um, from left to right, I'm going in the positive direction. Whereas if I move to my left, I'm going in the negative direction. Now a big thing you have to know is the bigger the number, the more the negative. Or the, so like negative four is a bigger number that, 4 is a bigger number than 2, but it's negative 4, okay? So that means it's actually more negative than negative 2. Um, so we need to make sure we understand that number line. A couple other things I want to know. Numbers, oops, let me move this. Oops, I did that wrong. Okay, numbers can actually be, can be expressed by words. And I want us to all feel comfortable in writing words as numbers. Five wins can be expressed as plus five, or just five. Three points under par would be negative three, and a par is in golf. A loss, a loss of $24 would be minus 24. Four steps to the right, think of the number line. So that would be four. If I said four steps to the left, it would mean negative four. A gain of eight yards. Eight. Seven degrees below zero minus seven. Okay, I got interrupted there. Sorry about that. All right, so a couple other things. I told you when I put the dot, dot, dot at the end of a number, so like two, dot, 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 one, two, dot, dot, dot. It means I'm going up by one, and usually I'm going to give you three numbers or more. And if I say dot, 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 it means it continues on. You need to know that this means less than... And this symbol right here is greater than. 
And I'm working on getting a new stylist, so I promise it won't be messy after this one, I hope, okay? All right, you need to know that if I write something like 2 is greater than negative 1, that's called an inequality because I'm using an inequality symbol, a, a greater than symbol, okay? All right, let's move on. Okay, so let's translate each sentence into symbols, okay? Let's make sure we can do this. All right, so we've got 4 is greater than negative 2. So 4 is greater than negative 2. Or I could say negative 2 is less than 4. All right, 7 is less than 9. So 7 is less than 9. Or I could say 9 is greater than 7. Those mean the same thing. All right, negative 5 is less than negative 2. I could also say negative 2 is greater than negative 5. All right, so let's look at a number line, okay? And I'm going to say here we've got coordinate A, and it's at, we'll say, negative 5. And here's 0. So 1, 2, 3, and I'm going to get another 4 in there, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. And here's 4. And I'm going to make these points big points, heavy points. I could say 4 is greater than negative 5, or I could say negative 5 is less than 4. Just by looking at the heavy points, how I could relate those numbers using inequality symbols. All right, a couple more things with numbers you have to feel Putting things in order from least to greatest. You have to remember on a number line, oops, sorry about that, on a number line, the bigger the number, the more the negative. So negative 2 is way over here and it would be my smallest number then negative 1.5, then negative 1. So in order from least to greatest, we have negative 2, negative 1.5, negative 1, and 0. Okay, and you should feel pretty comfortable with those. All right, so those are the things that we're going to be working on tomorrow in class is understanding number relationships as they relate to a number line and um, using the different numbers to write inequality statements, okay? So it's a very basic review type lesson, but I just want to make sure you feel comfortable before we move on. I hope you liked the new lesson and have a great night.